20, 24. All right. In Christ's realities. In Christ's realities. Second Peter chapter 3, verse number 15. Second Peter chapter 3, verse number 15. An account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Even as our beloved brother Paul also, according to the wisdom given unto him, hath written unto you. Next verse. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable rest, as they do also the other scriptures, unto their own destruction. We said that that word wisdom is given to him is an insight given by the spirit an insight given by the spirit it's a christ given insight a christ given insight then why did he pray the efficient prayer in ephesians chapter 1 verse 16 put it up for me since not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling and what the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints no doubt that prayer whatever that prayer you know that he wrote there was is a prayer on what the holy spirit had already taught him those prayers in ephesians in colossians in philippians they are not personal prayers. They are prayers so that the insight he has received by the Holy Spirit, you will come to an understanding of that insight. He uses the word Sophia too. You know, Sophia. That God will give you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. Or the wisdom of the spirit which is revelation of him that's another way to reconstruct that place the wisdom of the spirit which is the knowledge of him the wisdom of the spirit that's another way to reconstruct that place and you're still saying the same thing or the wisdom of the spirit which is the revelation of him the insight of that spirit that prayer is for your mind to align with the mind of Christ in Paul's teachings. For your mind to align with the mind of Christ in Paul's teaching. And so we have seen that in Jesus' instruction in Matthew chapter 28 verse 18. Then Jesus came and spake unto them saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. 